You have just tuned in to the Mag Nerd Podcast, your home for everything in music, anime, and gaming. What is up, people? Showed up the King here, back with another video, and today, the moment of truth has arrived. We are doing the live reaction to Roshi vs. Jiraiya. I can smell the fan nerd rage in the air. <laughs> Let me tell you guys something. Look, this is going to be as divisive as Goku versus Superman. As any anytime you do anything in the anime community and you do a versus match, the shit's just not going to go well. And you know, Screw Attack has been known to just make really dumbass decisions when they do these death battles. And they usually get called out by the community, and they usually don't do their research right. But again, I don't expect anything different from this one. I expect a lot of ass pulls. I expect a lot of uh, bullshit coming from them. So, I have little faith. Now, who do I think is going to win this death battle? Alright. I think Roshi should win this death battle. Hands down. I'm going to tell you why. Number one, in the Dragon, in the Dragon Ball world, Yamcha is on par with more Naruto characters. Like, let's be clear. Naruto is out, out without the, with the exception of Naruto and Sasuke, who basically have, like, plot ninjutsu. Those guys are, like, OP. But outside of that realm, if we just try to line up Naruto characters versus Dragon Ball characters, Dragon Ball characters are, like, continent scaling like powerful powerhouses like Tien you know people as low as like Tien and Krillin were capable of destroying planets if they really wanted to so it, it it's kind of very hard to scale the feats that Jiraiya has and can see how they can try to do it with with uh with Roshi so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start playing this video um unfortunately I did want to do the picture in picture but I was having a lot of issues with that, so you guys are going to have to settle for the audio live reaction. Uh, get ready to follow along. I'm starting at the 44 second mark, so again, you guys will be able to hear what's going on. I have not watched this. I have not looked at any of the comments. I have no idea who's going to win. I just know that I want Roshi to win, and Roshi should win, just based off of my... And again, I'm a, I'm a huge Naruto fan. Jiraiya is a strong motherfucker, but... Again, I have not seen any techniques that Jiraiya could use that would kill Roshi. Even the, the closest that he would have is his Sage Mode. But again, Roshi knows so many different tricks. And the fact that Roshi has dodged Jiren. Like, if Screw Attack is adding in the stuff that is currently happening in the manga, which they should... Jaren, uh, Jaren was getting his attacks dodged by Roshi, and Roshi was basically using a subset of Ultra Instinct. So it'll be very interesting to see how they try to play that. And again, just to let you know, Screw Attack, and I'm saying this now before I start this video, y'all bet not try to pull that fucking harem jutsu bullshit where like Jiraiya could turn into women and try to distract distract Roshi because then he got rid of that uh, sexual. Uh, issues that he had for the tournament of power so don't try to pull that shit either so without further ado let's jump into this the finest warriors are never developed on their own while some are simply molded by their enemies the best usually seek the wisdom of i'm sorry i try to i try to be fair but these guys man see you're talking about pervert which is true he's a pervert the Toad Sage and instructor to the most famous ninja of all. I think, uh, honestly, I think, I think that they're gonna go. I think Death Battle's gonna pick Jiraiya, but there's just no way that uh, that Roshi should lose this. There's just no way. Goku is, without a doubt, one of the greatest martial arts champions of all time. Hell yeah, he's good enough to rival gods, become a Super Saiyan, and even master Ultra Instinct. But he never would have achieved any of it without the guidance of Master Roche. Goddamn right. Artist who's so powerful, there's only one thing in the world that can stop him. Well, uh, two things, really, if you get what I mean. I know your game, old See? Man. See, look at them already talking about his, his, uh... Anyway, when he was a hip youngin', Roche studied under the legendary Master Potato. 
Lutaita. And a kitty cat. These masters of ass whooping Pat Roshi how to weaponize. He said he only had two weaknesses, and he's trying to say he's trying to say that uh, Dr Roshi's issues are related to females, but again, they're not. They haven't mentioned yet that he got rid of that for the tournament of power. Explosive shots, go buff mode, stun foes with thunder shock surprise, and even seal dangerous enemies away with the evil containment wave. It wasn't long until Roshi refined. And they better not try to use that whole evil containment wave shit either and try to say that if, if Roshi used the evil containment wave, he would die. Because he shouldn't even need that on uh J on on J Jiraiya. He shouldn't even need it. It's not about beating people up as slow as you can, like I first thought. Turtle School or Kame style includes everything from tricky pressure point combat to a phony drunken style. Which, if you ask me, and again, most of their feats should come from the original Dragon Ball because that's when Roshi was at his strongest. So I'm hoping they're going to use a lot of his feats from there and then just scale him based on how he was in Dragon Ball Z and, and Super and stuff like that. But most of his feats came from Dragon Ball. Despite most of the students learning it at some point, flight is actually a technique developed by his rivals, the Crane School. And, um, Roshi's just been a bit too Jiraiya can't fly either, so I'm just saying. After centuries of experience. How long has he been doing this? Well, it's a little vague, but thanks to either a pet phoenix he accidentally killed, or the mysterious Paradise Herb, he's just shy of 360 years old. Damn, I'm down right. impressed he can still get it up for the girls after all that time. Boomstick, that's... Well, I mean, yes, I guess, medically speaking, it is quite impressive. Where can I get me some of this paradise grass? I want to be chasing tail for centuries. And again, like I said, uh, I'm just, I'm just... His talents, Roshi dedicated 50 of them to developing one revolutionary technique. Help me! Help me! Ha! Anyway... Ha! Anyway, to be honest, devastating is an understatement. Well, yeah, he blew up a whole it says it took Roshi 50 years to perfect the Kamehameha. Goku learned it in one day. China, standing up to 2,600 feet tall. With this He's trying to say that it's it's uh they're trying to imply that Roshi is not naturally gifted in manipulating um energy. Yep. More like 35 billion. To obliterate the moon in its entirety, the Kamehameha must have struck it with a force akin to three octillion tons of TNT. That's uh, 27 zeros, by the way. Holy shit. Well, they, they're trying to say, wait, 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 wait. Let me go back, because now what, what Screw Attack has been doing recently is as the videos are playing, there's like these little factoid bubbles at the top. And it says, at first glance, Roshi's moon burst seems like an outlier compared to his other feats. However, scaled to other characters around him, it is perfectly reasonable. So basically, they're, they're trying to say that they're not trying to take away that feat from Roshi, which is fine. The octillion tons of TNT. That's uh, 27 zeros, by the way. Holy shit, Roshi's also super fast. He can fight an entire battle in a blink of an eye. Which might seem crazy, but Roshi is also able to snatch bullets out of the air that are fired at him from point-blank range. That gun looks like a British Sten, which can fire up to 600 rounds per minute at a muzzle velocity of nearly 1,200 feet per second. That means Roshi would have to react to the first bullet within 5 milliseconds. Additionally, each consecutive bullet would reach him just shy of 17 milliseconds apart. The maximum distance between any given shot looks to be about 3 feet. Which means he would have to be moving at 180 feet per second in order to catch them all. Oh, if my hands can move that fast, I'd finally stop getting married. This speed is far from his limit, but okay, he's making sure. talent is ensuring his students grow further and further than himself every day. Sadly, so now they're going against... They're going over some of his feats, destroys Fire Mountain, created Kamehameha, caught a full clip of machine gun fire, obliterated the moon, withstood base Goku's Kamehameha, uh, helped fend off Frieza's army, 
Okay, whatever. His body can't always express just how powerful he really is. And too much key energy can cause all sorts of problems. Like when his master Pistachio died using the evil containment wave. But while Roshi's pupils may surpass him, he remains one of the smartest fighters. But here's here's the problem. Why y'all ain't talking about the tournament of power? Why y'all ain't talking about the tournament of power, Roshi? See, y'all motherfuckers. Super manga, Roshi is okay. so collected in battle, his movements sort of emulate those of the Super Manga's different continuity in the Super Anime, which is the canon sequel of Dragon Ball manga, using this will violate the fourth rule of death battles. Oh hell nah! Oh hell nah! See, that's what I'm talking about. They're the little factory bubble. They're trying to try to say that the manga is canon. Bullshit. The, look, the factoid, I, I knew it, I knew it. The super manga is different continuity than the super anime, which is canon sequel to the Dragon Ball manga. No, it's not. The manga and the anime are both canon. They both in the same way. They just go different ways of getting there, but they are both canon. You got the fullest shit. The Ultra Instinct. Yeah, that's not technically canon, but it does go to show how far Roshi's training. See, those motherfuckers, see? I'm almost tempted to just go into the comment section right now and rage, but I'm just going to hold off for a minute. I'm not, I'm not. How the fuck y'all going to try to say that the, the manga's not canon? Have you lost your... Naruto would become the Hidden Leaf's greatest champion and seventh Hokage, but this would never have been possible without his So mad right now. I cannot believe they did that. I cannot believe they fucking said that that shit was not canon. Hey Wiz, why do the most badass old dudes always turn out to be weird birds? Uh, well, don't let his crude demeanor fool you. Only thing I can think of, the only way Jiraiya could win is by trying to catch him in a genjutsu. Like, like the court, you know, and if Roshi is not, but again, Roshi is still smart enough to understand hypnosis. So I still don't think, but again, that's probably the only way I can see them trying to pull off a win for, for Jiraiya is by saying Jiraiya caught him in that ninjutsu, the genjutsu that he caught Sasuke, uh, uh, Itachi in, Itachi in. However, in the world of Naruto, Chakra is used to perform amazing ninja techniques called jutsu. Thank you. Like most ninja, Jiraiya learned about four types of jutsus. Taijutsu. Technically not canon. Get the fuck out of here. Weapons and tools. Genjutsu, which covers illusion and mental manipulation, and Senjutsu, a method of utilizing naturally occurring energy as an extension of oneself. Jiraiya mastered as many styles as he could, and even learned one of the greatest ninjutsu attacks. That's like saying that because the anime did things differently in Naruto than they did in the manga, the the anime sometimes did things differently. So you're trying to say that the uh, the anime is the direct uh, comparison to Naruto versus the manga? Get the fuck out of here! Possessing a keen and mischievous mind, Jiraiya spent plenty of time developing brand new techniques, such as the invisibility jutsu, which you'd think would be perfect for stealth or assassination missions, but he actually developed it specifically for... Uh... Research? Where else is a self-respecting writer supposed to get his, uh... I'm so tempted right now, man. I'm like, can I make a comment without seeing anything? I think I can because I'm just. After befriending the toads, Jiraiya trained under the sage Fukasaki, where he learned a bunch of fire release techniques like the toad oil bullet and flame bullet attacks. Now that's one impressive loogie. Jiraiya entered a pact with the toads learning their ways and summoning them to the field of battle. As his own talents relied on trickery over brute force, such as hiding in shadows and manipulating his opponent's movements, the powerful toads were perfect allies. He can trap his foe inside a toad's throat, transform them into toads for interrogation, Told you. or even call a gigantic amphibian warrior to his side. Like the biggest grump you've ever seen. 
Gamabunta! I am the wisest powerful Lord Gamabunta of the Chief Town! And you're an idiot! The Shogun! Ha <laughs> Bunta, you grudge the old toad. And through Fukasaki's teachings, Jiraiya perfected the art of Senjutsu. Through their combined efforts, he entered a new mighty form called Sage Mode. Well, it takes a long time to get into. Sage Mode Jiraiya can do all sorts of things he couldn't before. Like the unpredictable martial art Frog Kata, and a deadly genjutsu, the demonic illusion Toad Confrontation Chain. Which sounds weird, so why don't we just call it your f jutsu? Because if you get cut, your soul is trapped by these big guys who desperately want to high-five, leaving your physical body to the scene. So that's what I'm saying. So this is, let me let me just go back. Because this is what I, I think is going to happen. So he, they're hyping up Jiraiya's genjutsu. And like I said, he does have strong genjutsu. So... That's the angle they're gonna go to give it to Dry to try to say he's gonna capture Roshi in a genjutsu and kill him. I, I, I can see it. Thank you. Like most ninja, Jiraiya learned a orb of death modeled up the ultra destructive pale beast bomb. And that thing can wipe out a whole village all at once. And on the weird side, he can sharpen his twisted sister mane into a shield like a porcupine and fire the hairs out like a needle gun. Possessing a keen and mischievous mind, Jiraiya spent plenty of time developing brand new techniques, such as the invisibility jutsu, which you think would be perfect for stealth or assassination. Like I said, I've been watching death battle for enough to time to see when they're trying to pull some bullshit, and I can see this shit a mile away, man. Just watch. supposed to get his, inspiration from... And then I could be wrong. They could give it to Roshi, but even if they give it to Roshi, there's no way in the hell you're gonna get me to ever believe that you're gonna tell me that the manga is not canon. The Dragon Ball Super manga is not canon. What? Just because the anime came first doesn't make the manga. Uh, manga is always canon above anything else. Toads were perfect allies. He can trap his foe inside a toad's throat, transform them into toads for interrogation, or even call a gigantic amphibian warrior to his side. Like the biggest grump you've ever seen, Gamabunta! I am the wise and powerful Lord Gamabunta, the Chief Toad, and you're an idiot! The Shadow! Ha <laughs> <laughs> Bunta, you grudge the old toad. While summoning can quickly gain chakra, Jiraiya has excellent chakra control and can always draw more energy to himself through Senjutsu. Saku's teachings, Jiraiya perfected the art of Senjutsu. Through their combined efforts, he entered a new mighty form called Sage Mode. Well, it takes a long time to get into. Sage Mode Jiraiya can do all sorts of things he couldn't before. Like the unpredictable martial art Frog Kata and a deadly Genjutsu. And again, let's be, let's be honest here. I forgot that Naruto can go into Sage Mode a lot faster than Jiraiya could. It took Jiraiya forever. Jiraiya had to do like all these like different things to get into Sage Mode. And I doubt uh, Roshi would give him enough time to get into Sage Mode when he see him gathering chakra like that. That doesn't even make any sense. Monic Illusion Toad Confrontation Chant. Which sounds weird, so why don't we just call it your f jutsu because if you get cut your soul is trapped by these big guys who desperately want to high five leaving your physical body totally open to a swift kill sage mode also enhances jiraiya's other abilities turning his normal rasengan into the unstoppable big ball rasengan which according to the official data books is strong enough to carve away a mountain whiz he's way more than just a mountain smasher Jiraiya is quick enough to fight some of the fastest ninja around, like Kakashi and Itachi, some of which are fast enough to intercept lightning. The leader of a lightning bolt moves around 220,000 miles per hour. Ah, ah, so see, see, the, I, I'm breaking this down for y'all because I'm trying to pull out the bullshit so when I hear it. So now what they're trying to say is, is that because he fought someone like Jiraiya, like just because Jiraiya fought, uh, Kakashi and Kakashi can intercept lightning and that must mean that uh, somehow Jiraiya is strong enough or fast enough to uh, intercept lightning or be able to, to catch lightning himself which makes no sense so what they're trying to then what they're going to try to do is they're going to try to use that feat to say oh lightning's a lot faster than bullets so that must mean that 
Jiraiya is faster or has faster reaction time because he can intercept light. Man, get the... F Watch. See? Look at him. Over time, he rose to become a legendary ninja and hero of his people, hailed by the honorable title of Sani. And he's a gutsy one, like when he used his tricks to take out three of the six members of the emo rock band, Pain, before they tore his arm off, crushed his throat in, and failed him five times. But even while suffering excruciating agony, Jiraiya proved strong enough to power through and send a vital message to his most promising pupil, paving the way for the next generation of heroes before being swept off his feet one last time. You know, I guess he was a pretty gallant guy after all. They're so full of shit. As you can see, you fail. Jiraiya the Toad Sage falls victim to no woman's charm. Rare beauties fall for me. When you reach the stature I have, the ladies worship at your awesomeness. All right, the combatants are set. All right, so I'm about 90% sure that Death Battle is going to pick Jiraiya to win just based off of their bullshit. So let's get ready for the rage because, again, I'm telling you right now, this is exactly what they're going to do, and they're full of fucking shit. The, 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 I knew this was going to be some bullshit as soon as they said the whole uh, Dragon Ball Super is not canon. Get. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, if you're as hungry as I am for this fight, you may be interested in Blue Apron. No, I'm not. Right, now, you've probably heard of... <sighs> I just... I just... I'm trying, guys. Like, I. This is some plot no jutsu shit right here, man. I mean, I have never in my life seen such unbridled bullshit in my entire life. This is this is worse. This is worse than Goku versus Superman, in my opinion. How the hell are you going to discontinue an entire canon? To fit your narrative. That's how we do it now, Screw Attack? Okay. Look, I know and it seems like I'm harping on this, but you guys have to understand how serious that is. To fit their narrative, they try to say that the Dragon Ball Super manga is not canon. No one has ever tried to pull some bullshit like that before. The porcupines can stop an attack? The porcupine can stop a Kamehameha? Really?
Buy me some time. Why would he need? Why would he need to steal Gumbatu? He don't even. Come on, man! I Rossinger, you gonna try to tell me Rossinger can go through a fucking Kamehameha? Fuck out of here. I told you. I told you. See? I told you. I fucking told you. I knew it. I predicted that shit a million, a million times over. See that shit coming. Certainly one of the most powerful warriors of his own world, but there's no question that Roshi Sheer might outclass him. One guy can break a mountain, the other can break a moon. <laughs> so that was pretty obvious. The speed comparison wasn't quite so clear cut though. While his unseen battle with Krillin was incredibly quick, Roshi's never personally shown speeds as fast as the lightning feats Jiraiya scaled to. But he did hold his own in the tournament of power against planet and galaxy busters. Also, in Goku's training right after Korin's, he actually had to dodge lightning. Roshi's own training didn't stop after chasing the kitty around, and neither did his kitty chasing. So, scaled to Goku's progress, it makes sense that he'd be able to match Jiraiya's speed, and probably even surpass it. Still, it would be reasonable to believe Jiraiya could use his tactical talent to outsmart and outlast Roshi. Except, Roshi's a smart fighter, too. Not only does he have way more experience thanks to his super age, but he's got an eye for traps in sticky situations, like when he figured out the illusion powers of the talisman fighter, Dercori. And remember, it took only 15 seconds for Roshi's Kamehameha to reach the moon. Given the moon's distance of over 200,000 miles from the surface of the Earth, this means the beam must have traveled over 57 million miles per hour. More than 260 times faster than light. So the fact that any time that Jiraiya shot, any time that Roshi shot in a Kamehameha, it should have instantly had killed Jir uh, Jiraiya in the first place. I'm still not letting y'all off the hook because y'all pulled that bullshit about the manga. I don't care if you won. That shit is canon. What? There was no way Jiraiya could avoid Roshi's trademark move for very long. Sure, Jiraiya might be a crafty ninja, but all that doesn't boil down to much more than tricks against someone like Roshi. Roshi was simply faster, stronger, and had way more experience. And that's why Jiraiya croaked when Roshi beat him to the punch. The winner is Master Roshi. I thought he was going to pull some bullshit, man. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you want to see some exclusive commentary, make sure to click the box right over there. Look. If you want the battle music from this episode, you can download it by clicking the link below. Let me see what's coming up next. Justice League? Dark Side versus uh, Thanos? I watched that. Dark Side versus Thanos is coming up next. Alright, I'm about to wrap this up because I didn't want it to be too long. Um, screw Attack, you still fucked up with the feats. How dare you say that Roshi. Super manga is not canon. Fuck out of here. Rate, comment, subscribe. Show up the king. Goddamn.